This is going to be a distribution um, clip in support. So, so we watch 50-50 ball here. Um, obviously, we need a little bit more cover. Ideally, these players would be dragged in on that 50-50 ball. But, okay, the ball is going to get a, away from him, uh, the striker, and it's going to fall to um, our center back. So now we want to think about supporting angles. So our, our initial pressure pocket is going to be, obviously, the first player that was pressuring the ball um, and looking to get on the end of it. And then we want to see how much time and space we have in this central channel. So if this player centrally doesn't press us, then we can show more central and stay to where the space is um, and not come into where the pressure is. If this player presses us, we may have to provide a little bit more of an immediate angle to our defender. So we see that this player's going to be coming, um, but I still think there's enough time and distance here as of this picture, right? So then the ball gets played back um, and he's pressing a little bit uh, here. And and so here's, here's what I have um, uh, an issue with is you're gonna run around this ball to get to your right foot and that's gonna basically um, eliminate the time and space that you, that you had. So we look, this player's continuing on. Um, I think there's still time to play out here if if this player's aware he, he he's not but you know if there's a pocket to even play into um that's something we can survey early uh but because you don't feel comfortable playing with your left foot here up down the line um you know we end up running around and hitting a curling ball out of bounds okay so um we have to have it's it you know everybody has to train their weak foot this is a reason why because you know if if we're confident on the ball um, and we're composed we can take a touch and play out into this space we can maybe take a touch and find a pocket here at the worst kind of bend it with our left foot into this space um, for possibly one of our players to run onto. Uh, as we take a look you can see the window starting to open up this I still feel like we have enough time and space to play out here. If you just lay this ball into space or lay this ball into space, um, either take a touch and play with your right foot or you're on your left foot, play your left foot into this space right here. Um, and once again, just that lack of composure, lack of confidence with our left foot leads to uh, this mistake. Another possession clip here in support. Um, we take a look. So, no, I mean, nothing, nothing crazy. I mean, just basic, right? You have the ball that's going to be played back to you, and then certainly one player is going to press that ball, especially if it's hit with slower pace. So, you know, while this is happening, we need to be opening up to a good support channel, scanning the field, understanding what our options are before we arrive at the ball. And I think in this case, we just get caught in between minds where you know I think maybe you're a little deep to start in support but certainly we have plenty of time here so here's the deal if the ball is not going to roll to you and you're going to run out to play this ball with the pressure coming then we need to manipulate the defender with our touch on the ball or with our hips to wiggle and open space to play back out or play the other way um, but what happens here is we arrive and then we back up okay and we almost close off the field because we're backing up. And look how your shoulders, you're opened up to play only this ball. Okay, and but because our wide player isn't wider and facing the field, I think that deters you from playing. But look, we have a pocket of space you can play into here safely. Um, there might be a player behind, but you know if you demand a little bit and we do our work earlier, we have outs. But because of your body shape here facing out, this cutback is, is much more difficult. You stay open here so that you can go out to either side and centrally. But because you wanna, you're trying to manipulate him, but you back up and he, you haven't changed his angle at all. So to do this successfully, you almost need to do a pullback and come out this way. But our touch takes us right central into his path. All right, so this is just something that I think from the get-go, the minute you backpedal, all right, you and and close your. You can backpedal and keep your body open. You're fine, but you backpedal and close your body off. Now that becomes dangerous. All right, 
and, and for no reason, right? So we, we go back and we look at it and I just want to show you that back pedal, okay? Because you're fine if you don't, if you don't close off your body, like I said, okay? There it is. So we're going to come and support. We stop. Keep your body shape open. Keep your shoulders open. The, if the initial pressure pocket is coming in this direction, then we always want to think away from that initial pressure pocket first, okay? And that with the ability to come back um, if we've manipulated the defender. You, you've never manipulated the defender here. And then because of that, we get into a risky ball. So another possession clip. Um, this is more to do with your angle of support. Uh, so as we let it play, we're going to be under pressure. So right here, um, we have the closest player to the ball, but also an immediate pressure source like central. So you, you can't show to this space, you know, on the open side of the weak side of the field. But we need you to be in a, in a passing lane where we can find you here. And I think the opposite happens. Okay, so watch where you go. So you actually move to a space where where we feel less confident playing you into um, because of this player. All right, so shade over, give yourself good depth, open up your body so you can see the field, and we're safe there. We end up turning and it's, you know, ends up being closer, uh, you know, just a, a ball down the line when maybe we could retain possession. So just a moment to learn from. Okay, so, I've, I saw this way too many times um, in this game, and and perhaps Alice. I get, I get that Riyad is one of our most technical players on the ball, but this is you're the quarterback, and I don't care if he's yelling at you in a foreign language or not, and how intimidating that might be. Don't play him this ball. There's there's te if if he's wider, maybe because your spacing is is, is awful. Okay, and the only thing that can happen here is, is you're going to play this ball. He's teeing off. You can see our other defender pointing up. By the way, has more time and space. So if you're going to stand on the ball, stand to where you can tap it with your left foot, uh, or you can play out to your with your right foot here. Um, but this, I mean, the only player that wants this to happen is Riyadh, who just wants to be on the ball, and this player who knows that that was a dumb decision. All right? So we get just caught here, and we end up, if something goes wrong, bad bounce, bad touch, this is right in front of our goal. You're gummed up. You have to adjust. And, you know, I mean, we clear it, but couldn't you have just done the same thing? If you're going to end up kicking the ball long anyway, get us out. So that way, when you end up clearing this ball, our defenders aren't starting from inside our 18, but they're up the field. So the second ball, you know, that, that happens isn't, you know, in this case, it's flicked on, but isn't down our throats again. Okay, so in this um, distribution clip, I'm going to give everybody a little bit of context here. We're attacking and we lose the ball. So... We've got a lot of numbers committed forward, some of them not on screen. Um, they're gonna they're gonna win the ball and start driving, you know, through the numbers that we've committed forward with speed. Um, no reason to commit here. This is just on a side note because just delay, right? I mean, nothing good can come of this. Um, we end up. It ends up working out that we force it into a place you know, where we can recover. Slide tackle comes back to us. And so the context that I gave at the beginning where we had a bunch of numbers forward, um, should we should be thinking you know, down a couple goals here. Uh, we were attacking. We had just transitioned. They have numbers forward now, which means our first instinct in this, in this case should be to drive the ball back down the field. Um, immediately if possible but what happens here is you know they've got numbers forward and we end up playing into a pocket you know where all the only thing this player can do is play back to you and and all we've done is allow them to reset and what do we do at the end of the day just play the long ball anyway 
all right, to where our numbers were. But now we have players a little bit deeper. Um, so something to think about.